Hi guys, welcome back to the Get A Brew channel. So today I want to look at the topic of stock fermentation. So there are many causes that could cause a stock fermentation. We're gonna look at those very briefly and then we're gonna handle how to fix the problem if you encounter it in a practical way. So first off, let's look at the potential causes of a stock fermentation. There are many potential causes of stock fermentation under pitching, low yeast viability, yeast mutation, killer yeast contamination, premature flocculation, insufficient wort nutrition, insufficient oxygenation, low wort fermentability, for example, insufficient conversion or poor malt quality, poor fermentation temperature control, alcohol toxicity, other additives or additions or herbs and spices that the yeast doesn't react well with. Number one tip that I would give you to prevent this happening would be to use a premium quality yeast. That's why we uh, distribute for Lalleman yeast. Their quality control measures and attention to detail delivers consistently impressive fermentation. So one thing as a brewer or home brewer that you want to pay particular attention to is the fermentation temperature. So that fermentation temperature needs to be stable and it's critically important for the first few days of fermentation because we don't want to create any off flavors. Other items that you want to take into consideration to prevent a stuck fermentation are uh, nutrition. So we have a number of yeast nutrition products available on the website and we would highly recommend that you're adding some yeast nutrition to your brew. Whether that be um, a cell wall structure builder to allow you to re-pitch the yeast several times. If you're a brewer that recycles your yeast then you want to be looking at something like GoFirm. It provides um, extra cell structure and allows the yeast to multiply and develop and be used multiple times safely. We also have products like uh, Yeast Life Extra, Yeast Fit, Servomyces, all brilliant yeast nutrition products that you should consider adding into your um, brew schedule. So again, something that's really critically important we would urge you to be paying attention to is to be making sure that you're adding enough yeast um, for the brew. So have you taken into account how many grams per liter that you need for a healthy and active fermentation? Most of the yeast packets have the dosage rate on them. Um, an example of this that we would raise would be the Lalleman New England yeast. It, um, it's a very difficult yeast for Lalleman to grow up and it also needs a lot more yeast per gram than it would for the Bry 97 for example. So usually a general rule of thumb for that particular yeast style would be to use double the amount of yeast in my personal experience with using it. And again, a very good yeast to be using yeast nutrition with. The pros with a yeast like that, when you get it right, when you get the nutrition and the pitch rate right, you get those lovely beautiful fruit flavors coming through, that stone fruit flavor that, that everyone wants in the New England and the IPA phase that we're currently seeing. So I wanna very briefly touch on the topic of um, oxygenating your wort. So active dried yeast from the likes of Lalleman, it, it really does not require oxygenation to be, um, or oxygen to be added um, on in line on the way to the fermenter or for the wort to be oxygenated whenever it's, it's in before you pitch the yeast. That's true for the first use, and if you're going to recycle it, then obviously you may want to reconsider that for recycling, but just wanted to cover that. So if you've been monitoring your fermentation curve with the use of a hydrometer and you've noticed that the fermentation is a little bit sluggish, what's the first thing that you want to do? Well, I would say that one thing to consider would be to rouse it, whether that be with the addition of CO2 or by agitating or mixing, but be careful that you don't want to add oxygen when rousing. Uh, the beer, so that would be the first stage. And then I would be very quickly looking at the need to add more yeast. So whether you add more of the same yeast or whether you use a yeast like Nottingham Ale yeast, which is tolerant to high alcohol temperatures and is ex exceptionally clean and neutral during fermentation. These are things that you want to take into consideration. So problem solve yourself, check that you got your pitching rate accurate. Do you need to add more yeast? And um, try rousing it, try, um, you know, agitating it, but be aware that you don't want to add oxygen into the beer at this stage. So a stuck fermentation could have many causes. And if you want me to help you with technical assistance with one of my team here and you're contacting us to say, you know, we're, we've, I've experienced a stuck fermentation, can you give us some technical assistance? My number one tip for you would be to take good notes during your brew day and maintain a brew sheet record. We're actually working on one in-house at the moment that we're going to share with our customers to allow them to take details of their brew day. Then we can look at it and we can say, okay, 
here's an issue that we've identified from your recipe. Maybe you mashed at too high a temperature, maybe you used too many adjuncts, maybe you've created complex sugars that the yeast isn't capable of fermenting. Um, it's important that we have that information to allow us to give you good advice at home or for your brewery. And because we're backed by Lalamond as their Irish distributor here, they provide us with free technical help and they have a range of experienced brewers and master brewers that are willing to provide assistance if we provide them with the data that allows them to then make a, you know, a, a, an educated opinion on the matter and provide some advice to solve that. So again, getting back to how to solve a stock fermentation, there's a number of ways that, that you can do this and adding extra yeast is probably the first one that you can do, but there's multiple ways again that you can do that. If you're adding yeast, active dried yeast could be added just pitched directly. You could um, create a starter uh, with that yeast and bring that yeast um, rehydrate that yeast. Perhaps you could then move on and make sure that the yeast has active activity before it's pitched. So you could take yourself, rehydrate the yeast, create a starter, add a 2% sugar to that and allow it 15 or 20 minutes on a stir plate to make sure that it's getting active and then add a small amount of the wort so that the yeast doesn't get shocked when it gets added to the wort, allow another 15 or 20 minutes, add another little bit of wort and then pitch that yeast starter into your beer. So take it in stages and go through your processes, go through your notes, identify what the possible issues could be and then look at problem solving them and problem solving them as quickly as possible because yeast stress will cause off flavors and if you don't act quickly, the off flavors may already be present and it may be that the batch isn't suitable for um, extra yeast, but you can make that call with good detailed notes and technical assistance from us. So if you have any further questions on a stock fermentation, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy brewing.